Lori, beautifully in her show open, told you a little bit about her philosophy on fashion and, and you know, dressing and all of that. You know, the backstory is she lives in L.A., which is like a very high roller town, and she's married to a man who's a very high roller in that town, and so they mingle in really big circles, and that is, like, to say the least of it. But she used to be just a single mom without high roller connections, and so she gets what it is to want to look dynamite but not spend a bundle on um, you know your clothes because you know you you may not have a bundle to spend. So the beautiful thing about this brand is it's always very trend right and fashion forward. But the thing that she does better than anything, like if you thought the Daisy was good, come into my lair because her denim is my favorite at QVC. She has two forms of denim typically. The classic, which is like, you know, the two span, 98% cotton, you know, just the weekender denim. And then she's got this silky denim that has additional kind of like poly, bring on whatever content, and it just has a different hand and a different feel. And then she has Daisy denim, which she's going to explain because it's kind of like that monkey in the middle. It's a cross between the classic and the silky. And I also cannot get enough of how cute the style in these is because they're a crop jean. But instead of being tapered or cuffed, they have a raw edge hem that looks like you just took a pair of scissors to them. And they've got that little wide leg styling that almost makes them look a little boaty. Um, the easy pay goes away at the end of the day. I'm going to take you quickly through colors. The uh, order that we have is all that we've got. And then with 300 already out the door, these are numbered sizing. I'm in a two if that helps. They come in petite or regular. Darkest shade is what we call our brushed indigo. Notice the complete absence of gold top stitch. Also notice where you see some of the light whiskering like a trouser jean are the darkest. And then these are the ones that I also ordered. They're the next shade brushed medium. Very popular, a lot of fading, a lot of whiskers, uh, just really cool. And then our lightest is gonna be down here. We call it light vintage. Again, fading, whiskering, bleaching, really cool. And then what's new today, which I also bought these, the white, the straight white, a new way to look at doing white denim. All right, girls, so we're busy on the phone lines, but I'm gonna let you jump in and kinda take us through it. So, so many things. Um, first of all, we are denim experts. That's what we do. This isn't some little like cute side hustle that we drew in some <laughs> denim. The, the, women, the women that work at my office and my company, they've worked at J Brand, Vince, HSN, Macy's. I mean, we, the things that we talk about, Sean would probably put you to sleep, but they are fascinating to us. So QVC challenged us to come up with a spring summer denim because as much as we love our denim, the fact is it's not always our first choice when the months get hotter. And so that's how Daisy was born. So Daisy denim is a cross between the silky denim and the classic denim. It's really lightweight, but it's still super strong. The way that we've woven the, the weave, it creates strength while also being lightweight. It is so comfortable on. I went to dinner the other night with my friend Jody. She's a fashion girl. She loves fashion and she's, she'll spend money on it. She was wearing a pair of jeans that, I, I mean, my God, they had to be $500. The entire night she spent pulling them down. She's like, these are a little crotchy. I'm like, what? <laughs> That's a nice feature. What word did you just say? I mean, it was <laughs> terrible. I never want anyone to feel that way in my jeans. I, on the other hand, I'm, I mean, I, I don't know. This is maybe a weird thing to say. I thought I looked just as cute. I was wearing the Daisy denim. Stylish, fashion forward, comfortable, lightweight, easy to care for, a whole different game. 800 pairs ordered. 800 pairs, and they've got, um, Lori, what I love about it. Oh, Cynthia, we're twinning. Uh, we're twinning. I love the wide leg, kind of boaty, sailory, kind of. Um, flavor to the shape of these and they are so stretchy and so soft and so cool and I just want to give a quick tight shot as we go back through colors because we're busy on the phone lines of the hemline because these are crops so you're going to have to choose regular petite um, this is I mean this is it it's just clean but has clearly the edge to it um, you'll notice right back here that we have four colors of which the white completely new today so I got white I also got right here, brushed medium, all numbered 
sizing. Two most popular are brush medium here and the white, 25 inch or 23 inch inseam. Remember, they are petite, they are regular, and they are only here in this one small order for the entire year. Also, the bleached, which we call um, light vintage. I hope you can see how soft these are because as I'm doing kind of like the petting of the denim, because of that poly content, they feel silky to the touch. And then the darkest is probably a really good place to sit for a second because Laura, I want you to tell the story about when you got into denim and you were deciding how to make your denim like premium denim, but at price points that are typically under 80, 70 bucks, you, you took some things out of your denim that other denim has. Like I, f I grew up with denim that had golden top stitch and like yours never has that. So can you explain? Yeah. So what Sean is talking about is, and many of you may have very expensive pairs of jeans in your closet that have that gold stitch. It looks almost a little country Western in a way. And I don't want to knock what anyone else is doing, but I just do want to let you know as a denim geek, that's what's available on the market. It, it, you know, what you can just pick up at the store if you're making jeans. What we use is indigo thread. And what that means is that our thread is actually the same color as our denim. So you can see Cynthia in this. You don't see any of that golden pop stitch. It's a sophisticated look and it looks as beautiful day one as day 100. So it's just an added touch to create premium denim. Cynthia is wearing size six. How tall are you? Five, seven and a half. Five, seven and a half, wearing a size six. I'm five, five and a half. I'm wearing a size uh, zero. So it really runs true to size. Sean, you, you found it runs true to size for oh, you yeah, too. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, and I have so many of your jeans and what I think is so great about these two, I mean, I'll be honest. Um, Wovens are not something we are readily grabbing for because we just, we have become so accustomed to wearing pajamas and joggers all the time. So Lori's denim is the only denim that I'm grabbing for in my closet right now on a regular basis because of the silky soft hand and how stretchy it is. You kind of forget that it's a woven, but I will also say Lori, like my favorite denim that I have in multiple colors is your flare full length jeans. and. You know, I will be honest that as we're starting to get into spring and summer and like warmer temperatures, I just, for, for me, I'm not grabbing for those full length flare ones as much. I feel like they're more kind of like my fall winter jeans. So I also love that you've brought like a cool factor to a length that's cropped and feels relevant for right now and then what we're about to get into, which is even hotter, even sunnier. Um, I just think they are absolutely darling. And you're noticing everybody is wearing them with different footwear, street sneaker, performance sneaker. Um, in fact, sneakers, if you want a pair, stay tuned because we've got a really cute pair that Lori um, designed coming up. And then heels, like you could do a heel if you want to do a heel. Well, that is the beauty of this. And I think that we've all been in our lounge wear now for about a year. And so what's the what's the step? I mean, I don't think you want to go from lounge wear to, you know, tight fitted, dressy, whatever. This is a great, you know, first step out of it. You look stylish, you feel beautiful, you're comfortable. You've got that premium daisy denim. And it really, I mean, honestly, it is so stunning. If you're near your computer and you go to qvc.com, you can read the reviews on it. It feels so soft, just the way that the yarn is twisted, the way that it's dyed, the way that it's all been hand done. And we like to say that what separates our denim is the fit and the technology, that's that part, but the art is in the washes. Totally. So our our white denim, I don't, I don't, By the I don't way, know about you, brushed Sean, indigo, I'm sorry, denim. the darkest one, brushed indigo, is last call. Last call, brushed indigo. Um, don't forget, this is the lightest, which is called our uh, light vintage. And then obviously the white was totally new today. So, I mean, I scooped those up in no time flat. And then the ones I'm wearing right now, which are probably my favorite, just because they are so wicked cool. Um, they're called medium, brush medium. Okay, sorry, go. I was just going to say white jeans, if they're too tight, can be a little bit, um, just, they can be a little not flattering. I love a loose white jean. And so that's what this is. If you like to wear oversized sweaters and cardigans and t-shirts, having a, a looser fitting white jean is really going to be the ticket for the, the spring and the summer. I love these on a level that is beyond love. I just love them. And when I hold them, just so you know, like, based on how they're doing that kind of floaty, easy, silky. I mean, I, I hope that you are gathering then that these are not a heavy, stiff denim. These are kind, they're not any, they're not anywhere near paperweight, 
but the way they move and feel the softness and the liquidity of them reminds me of paperweight denim, which is one of my absolute favorite things. And um, so these, I just think you cannot go wrong with. I mean, they'd be as cute if you're barefoot or have a thong kind of flip-flop on as some sort of like big chunky um, slip-on sandal. I mean, it is totally up to you. I can't see a single shoe, including like a New Balance sneaker that's like a full-on running performance sneaker that wouldn't look just wild cool with these. And they're just so they're comfy. Aside from the fact that they, they go back with every shoe, I, denim is the one article of clothing in your closet that actually gets better over time. And these, the minute you take them out of out of the bag and you put them on, they feel like they've been in your closet for, you know, 10 years and you've worn them in and they're so beautiful and they're so soft and that they're just made for you. And yet they're going to still feel that way 10 years from now because the quality is there. So while we're saying they're, you know, spring and summer denim, they're lightweight. I like that shot, Sean. Oh, well, I'm just <laughs> showing everybody the logo. <laughs> that, 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 but it's good. They're super cute and flattering both, you know, directions. And it's just going to be the piece you're going to have for a long time. So Sean and I have a little bit of a history on denim. Brush Can I tell the story? Or yeah, go. You go. But Brush Indigo just sold out. Um, my sweater's uh -oh. coming up. One order of the year. You, you just, you go. Tell your story. We had dinner here in LA. And I think you guys know Sean well enough to know that she has one gear and that's on it. And <laughs> we sit down. We sit down at dinner and she's like, I don't like jeans. I don't wear jeans. And I'm like, this is going to be the longest dinner of my life. <laughs> but I knew, I knew that once she tried my jeans on that she would love them because they are the jean that people who feel left out of the denim game, they try them on and they're firmly back in the game. And to hear you standing on the stage and say, these are your favorite denim. And I, I know for a fact that you wear them when I'm not looking because people will text me <laughs> and text me because they know this story. Uh... And so jeans they they are for people who think you know what denim is for teenagers i'm out there's nothing that fits me i don't feel good i don't look good i'm here to tell you that these are the jeans that make you look good feel good you're comfortable you're wearing elegance you're wearing premium quality they're really heaven oh and sean you know what we're so known for our pull to talk that these are the the zipper and five pockets yeah they're great. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. 2,000 pairs ordered. The white is more than half gone. The darkest indigo is gone. Um, I'm in the brushed medium and the um, the, the vintage kind of uh, the bleached uh, choice is still really cool in that it, she's found a way to make even the lightest color look even lighter and weathered in certain spots. I'm a huge fan of the sweater that I'm wearing, and I think it's genius with those jeans, so stay tuned.